हरून माय नेम इज नितिन सोनगे वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ओके और यू कैन सर्च एस एन नितिन सर ऑन फेसबुक और सो एंड बी कनेक्टेड ओके टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ इंफॉर्मेशन और शेयर द इंफॉर्मेशन द रोल्स एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटी टुडे टॉपिक इज रोल्स एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ टेस्टिंग टीम सी रिक्वायरमेंट्स कम्स for the company that you have to make the development on this is we want this from the customers then requirements are given by the business analyst okay to the development team okay and the testing team developing team will develop the software according to the requirement testing team will write the test cases according to the requirement till the pro till the software will be developed test engineers will continue to write the test cases with different different scenarios approval test cases and all these things okay now first of all the roles of i will show you yeah this is the roles and responsibilities uh can you yeah this is the roles and responsibilities this is the test manager okay in the testing field test manager and then test lead test lead test lead suppose in a company the one test manager is there and four test lead is there now one of the test engineers in this position they are having under curry and the senior test engineer junior test engineer and fresher okay this is a cycle fresher junior senior test test lead and then uh test manager so first of all first of all we will discuss about the role and responsibility of test manager okay role and responsibility of test manager generally test manager write or review the test plans test plan uh, sometimes test manager only reviews the test plan they don't uh, write the test plan test plans are uh, Uh, written by the test lead and all this thing. Okay, so test manager the first role and responsibility is write or review test plan. Okay, then their work is interact with customer, uh, development team and management. The main role of the test manager is that to interact with the customer, development team and manager, management. Now. this is very important thing because they want to understand the requirement and they have to allocate the work to the test lead and proper knowledge of requirement they can write the testing requirement so that bug can be cannot be found in the customer's place now third important role and responsibility of test manager sign off release note sign off release note means what after all the test execution ex report is fine and all this thing testing is complete then you have to sign up the note test manager sign up the note that the beta testing is done okay the testing from our side is done or uh, these these are bugs major bugs blocker bugs minor bugs you have to mention so you can uh, with this minor bugs you can go ahead this will make not huge this will not make a loss huge on your business so you have to tell to the management and you have to sign the Note. Now, fourth, handle issues and escalations. Handling issues means what? Suppose there are issues are there, the uh, bug should be solved or not. You have to communicate with development, customers, and all these issues. How to handle the issues is with the test lead and with the test engineer, junior, and fresher. So the four important roles are there. So many roles are there, but the four important roles of test management, test manager is this. Now we will move on to the test lead. the important role is that this test lead first of all write test plan in the test plan we will uh, discuss about more in the future videos that uh, what is test plan and all this. there are 15 stages of the objective aim and all these things write and review the test plan write and review the test plan then second second work of test lead allocate work to test allocates work to test engineers and ensure that they are completing the work within the schedule 
Suppose we want to complete the testing in five days. So the test lead have to be mentor them that the testing should be work or must should be completed the work before five days. Okay. So so to make ensure that the testing is done completely done with the all testing methodologies within the schedule. Okay. This is the second role of the test lead. Now, third, third is that test lead also communicates with development team, uh, management team, and customers. They are interacting with customers, development, and management to understand the requirement or to uh, make sure that these bugs are this you can release or not. For the feedback. Now, the fourth, consolidate reports sent by the test engineers. What is the role of test lead? They will take the test execution report from the test uh, test engineer and they will consolidate and communicate with the development team that this is the bugs, local bugs, minor bugs, major bugs, and these are the not fixed, these are the reopen, these are the high priorities, these are the low priorities. You have to mention over there. Then communicate with development team if we if we, if you can fix the fix the bug in the time, then fix or either you can postpone these bugs. Okay, in the further release. This is the role of test lead. Okay, under the test lead, the test engineer will come. What is the role of test engineer? What is the role of test engineer? To first of all, first of all, write test plan. Okay, either test lead write other uh, test manager or sometimes test engineer he will write the test plan according to all 15 uh, parameters that object to aim uh, matrices how many test engineers should be there execution report um, how much time we will require for the testing okay now second he will write the test cases according to the requirement he will write the test engineer will write the test cases according to the requirement okay and he will do the survey with all customers, management, developers. He will understand all gathering requirements and he will find out the, all the scenarios for writing the test cases. Now next, he will start to write the RTM. What is RTM? Requirement traceability matrix. Requirement traceability matrix is also called as a cross-reference matrix. Okay, or TM that is traceability matrix. What is the traceability matrix? To make ensure that this is a Test, uh, this is a report which is uh, written in the Excel that to make sure that every requirement should have at least one test case. If one test case is not there for each requirement, then you are missing the bugs or you are missing the test cases. Okay, you can you may lose you. It can affect your business that you didn't find the bug because of not writing the test cases. So to make sure that every requirement having one test cases we are writing the traceability matrix okay now review the test cases the fifth role is what review the test cases the test cases uh, wrote by the himself also or other fresher other junior test engineer he will review the test cases either it is right or if it is wrong then they will send the comment that uh, please correct this okay that is a reviewing test cases now, uh, after reviewing test cases, execute that test cases. I execute that test cases. And do regression testing. Regression testing means what? Why we have to do regression testing? That the adding, removing, or changing features should not affect the old models or which is stable models. So, to make sure that the current changes are not making or not affecting the other models, old models. We are going to uh, do the regression testing. Suppose this is suppose regression testing is too much, means like a monotone of jobs. You have to again and again and again four times, but always you have to do. Then think about automation testing. Okay. Now seventh role is of test engineer is compatibility testing. Perform compatible compatibility more. Suppose you are having your testing for website, you have to test for the Google Chrome, Safari. Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, 
and all these things, all, all the browsers, then all uh, wind, all OS, okay, all platforms, mobile platform, Windows platform, desktop platform, okay, uh, all these things, version, different, different versions. So, this is a compatible testing. Now, prepare test execution report and communicate the testing. I told you that uh, test lead consolidate the test execution report sent by the test lead, test engineer. That is, the test engineer wrote the uh, test execution report and he communicates with the test lead. Okay. Now, suppose uh, now now what is the role of the under test engineer two? That is, the test engineer one. What he will do? He will set up and install the product. Suppose your product is software application. Or if your product is a website application, a standard application, or desktop application. Now, he will identify the test cases to be automated. You suppose there are regression test cases are there. You have to test monotomous here, always and always the stable product. Then, test engineer two will automate that. They will uh, identify which test cases should be automated. Then, automated identified test cases. Atom, uh, do the automation testing of identify automated test cases using the automation tools like QTP, Selenium, RTF, IBM, whatever. Okay, which tool you are using in your organization. Now, execute that automation scripts and maintain that automation script in a repository so that you can uh, get the help in the future. I hope. For the fresher or uh, for the experience who are working in startups and all these things, I hope my ex uh, my knowledge of experience in software testing will help you. Suppose if you want to know about roles and responsibility about anything in the IT industry or mechanical engineering, just comment below or you can follow up to the Facebook page SM Making Stuff, okay? Or you can message. So please share it to your friends that they can get the help from me. Okay, thanks.